In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Studio. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to the channel. This is my first video back since I've been on maternity leave. So I hope I can deliver you some good content today. I hope you are all enjoying your school season. I know that you're probably about one to two months into this school year. And so I thought now would be a great time to teach you guys all about Canvas Studio. Studio is Canvas's video platform. You can create videos by recording yourself or recording your or computer screen doing those screen recordings you can also add videos from the internet and you can make the videos interactive within your canvas course i'm so excited to show all of this to you guys so let's get into the video guys I am logged into my canvas course and I am on my studio library page how you easily access studio is simply by just going over to your global navigation bar and you're just gonna click on the studio button right here and it'll take you to your library so here you can see this library is completely empty and that is intentional because that's probably what yours is going to look like so you have some options here in terms of of creating videos and then also adding videos. So you'll see here, you can click this button to add videos. If you come up here, you'll see three options, which is Studio Capture, Screencast Omatic, and then Add Media. We're gonna try Studio Capture out first. There's some new features that I am gonna show you within Studio Capture where you record yourself on screen, and then you can also now actually do a screen recording, which is great. Also, you have Screencast Omatic, which is the original screen recorder. So basically, you have to download some software and then allow it to have access into your Canvas course to record stuff. We are not going to go over that one today because it is old. -er, and Studio Capture now does both recording of with your webcam and then recording your screen. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do to create a video is just come up to create like I showed you before and we're going to click on Studio Capture. This is where you get to record videos within Canvas. So I'm going to click start in order to start recording. You have a couple options here, but we're not going to get into those quite yet. Basically, the two that you can mess with for recording from here is the camera option. So if you have an external camera, this is where you would access it. Or if you have an external microphone, you can see my fancy Yeti microphone uh, plugged into the computer here. Or you could use your computer microphone, which mine is a MacBook Pro. So I could select that if I wanted to, but I want my fancy microphone. So I'm going to keep it like that and click start recording and create a message for my students. Hello students and welcome to our class. And then I'm gonna click finish load. So we have our studio captured video. I can click play to review it. Hello students and welcome to our class. Okay, great, it's working. I liked everything I said. I'm going to give it a title of welcome to class. And then I do have the option to click start over if I did not like the video that I created. But what I'm going to do now is just click save media. And so now it's going to load and be a part of my Canvas library here. And so now it is a part of my Canvas library. The other thing that I wanted to show you, so again, we're not gonna go over screen cast omatic because it involves downloading software. So we're gonna go back to Studio Capture and you're gonna see here screen capture. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click enable this. So very similar to Zoom, you can either choose tabs that are available within your window. You can choose the entire window. You can choose the entire entire screen and so on. So I'm just going to choose this window to share. So what's great about this is now I can click start recording and now maybe what I'm going to do over here, we are now going to learn how to log into Canvas. So I'm going to select this uh, Canvas icon and we'll sign in and then I would do stop sharing, click stop sharing and it's gonna generate the video that I just created. All right, and I can review it. Hello, we are, give it a title and then click save media and now we have another video that is loading into our studio library. So you will notice it may take some time for these to fully process, but you can always click on the title and kind of review them from in here. But the last way that I wanna show you how you can 
can add video is instead of creating the video using Studio Capture, we are going to go to Add Media. You can upload any file from your computer, any MP4 file, or over here, we can add a video YouTube link. So I have just pasted one of my YouTube videos. I'm going to click add the video into my library. And there you go. I now have this video loaded. And you'll notice the YouTube videos take a lot less time to load here than the ones you created. And that's just because they live online. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can actually add these videos into Canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to announcements within my course here, and I'm going to add announcement. Now, instead of typing out a long announcement, what I'm going to do is actually come over here to the studio icon and I'm going to select that and then you'll notice my studio library is going to appear. So I'm going to select that message that I made earlier, welcome to class, we'll click embed the media and you'll see that it's just going to pull that and place it right within this announcement page. Now, of course, anything with a rich content editor, you can do the exact same thing. It's a really great face of me right there. Beautiful. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so then you'll see here, I can add details to this video. I can also add comments to this video. Also, when it comes time, we can have um, insights, so meaning data by students. And then if I want to, I can also add captions. Um, but for this video, it's not really necessary. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, so we have created videos, added videos into our studio library, and then I showed you how you can place those videos into any rich content editor, the RCE, within a Canvas course. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you can uniquely make a video interactive in Canvas. There are two types of ways you can do this. The first, so we'll just click on the three dots with in any of our videos. So I'm gonna choose this one here from YouTube and we can click it and then you have the option to turn this into a quiz or you can annotate it. So the quiz one is essentially students watch it and then they're giving quiz questions about it. The annotate video is a little different where you can actually add timestamps. So you'll see down here this little plus button, play or go to a section of the video and then I am going to add right here, let's say a headline. We'll just do question one to respond to maybe within the comments of this video. So the description, me what you think of the video so far. We'll save that. So here you go. Tell me what you think of the video so far and then continue. So then we'll add another annotation here and it'll be question two. What is the me meaning of life? Question mark. Save Andrew. and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna click done. And so now what I can do is I can actually go back into a Canvas course. This is a page here. I'm going to add this, the video, and you'll see we have some details here. And then I'm gonna click embed media once this is loaded. And then you should be able, so see now I have my little annotations within the video that the students can leave a comment and respond to. That can be a part of the assignment or for this it's just kind of a page page interactive. So they can click on it and then from here they can make a comment. Comment at 208. So let's save this really quickly. Now when students watch the video they can go to the certain timestamps and then respond via comment to each question and then make a comment at the exact timestamp that this question pops up. So that is just one way we can make this an interactive activity. Okay, but let's go back and we will turn this into a quiz. And so you do need to have access to new quizzes in order for this to work. So I'm going to name this quiz Canva Canvas Quiz because that is what it's about. I can either enter a description or not. I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Um, and then down here, we have the option to hide the question markers on the timeline or the timestamp, and then also allow displaying annotations. So the annotations that I created before 
before, do I want them to be displayed again for students or not? I'm gonna say no for this one because we're gonna have some different questions. So then I'm gonna click get started and then at different points in the video, so let's go a little farther along in this timeline. I'm going to click that plus button and now I have the option to add multiple choice, true or false, or multiple answer questions, which is really exciting. So I'm going to do just a true or false question. The sky is blue, just because for time, and we'll keep it true and save. And then we'll add another question here in the middle. And then we can go a little bit farther into the video and we'll click here. So now what you can do when you are done. So it says your question has been saved. We're going to click done. So after adding my quiz questions and then coming back to my library, you need to refresh the page and make sure you see this rocket icon. When you see the rocket icon, you now know that this video can be used as a quiz within your Canvas course. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back into Canvas and open up a new page and I'm going to click on studio icon again and we're going to select select the video. Now we can see the little rocket icon for quizzes. We'll click on it and now we need to make sure that we embed quiz and we choose the one. So I did a test one first. I'm going to click Canva or Canva Canvas quiz and embed this into my page here. And now this becomes a quiz. So you can click get started and it will play the video. So actually let's before it does that, let's save this. I started the quiz before I click save. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click resume quiz. And now yeah. what I can do is go to every question, choose an so answer. I'm gonna choose false and we'll do true. They're oh, all true, have, like, the but journals. I'm done as a student. I've essentially submitted everything. And now what I can do once students have submitted to see their results, I can click quiz results and look at student results here and you'll see I have one attempt in progress. So let's go all the way over. Okay, so you have to watch the whole video to the end to click submit. And then once submitted, I can see my answers here are, so I got one wrong. And then for the student side of things, I can see, oh, here's the student, here's the attempt, and they got a 67%. So I can see that as the teacher. On the student facing side, it would just show them the results. So that is how you can make your videos using Studio Interactive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to use Studio within your classroom. If you have any questions about Studio, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video below. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button, like this video, and stay tuned for more Canvas content. All right, guys, I'm getting back into the swing of things. As I am a new mom, it is so nice to be back with all of you on YouTube. I'm so excited for what I have in store for you this month specifically. Stay tuned. Some big announcements are going to be made in the next couple weeks. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!